fear faded, for music makes fast friends of all God's creatures. Fuck you, mosquitoes. I'm going to read you a story today. If the, um, if the mosquitoes will actually let me. You can have either 10,000 mosquitoes or smoke in your face. But you won't have both. That's the beauty of it. Now, I wrote this story last year, last spring, in fact, and I wrote it with an AI. That's right, this is controversial. I did write it, and uh, then I asked an AI to rewrite it for me in the style of an author I really like. Stay till the end, and um, I'll actually explain it to you. It's... <laughs> After the uh, AI had its way with it, um, it, it just added some spicy things. We'll see. Just I, I take no responsibility for anything. Having a bit of a challenge here today. Uh, okay. Shit. Song of the Husky. I really hope you can appreciate this effort. I'll get started now. In the deep forest where the old trees creak and groan, there lived a husky pup. He was alone, abandoned in the harsh winter by parents he never knew. The forest was his home, though he understood it not. On tiny paws he wandered, lost among the looming trunks. All was disarray and tangle. In the moon-drenched dark he quested, loping through the underbrush. His breath came fast and frantic, all a gasp among the ferns and brambles. He bristled at each sound, startled skittish by the sigh of wind between the needled arms of pine. The shivering pup, fur bedraggled, sodden by creak and thorn, his eyes aglint with feral fear. He quested for a place a purpose, palliating the aching hollow in his tender heart. But all was wilderness, unfathomable and fey. In the gloom, a distant glimmer caught his eye, a gleam amongst the trees, a glow to guide him on his weary way. Closer he crept on furtive paws, a cautious beast, curiosity overcoming native dread. Beneath a copse of cedar, in a clearing limbed with light, a cabin crouched. A home, harbinger of hearth and succor of from the woodland dark. The cabin called, its candlelight a beacon in the murk, but still the pub held back. Half hid by brush and shadow, then from within a dulcet sound. Notes cascaded, rich and round. The husky sat, transfixed, enraptured by the sound. Fear faded, for music makes fast friends of all God's creatures. Fuck you, mosquitoes. <clears throat> he edged into the moonlit glade, tail twitching in time as the melody entranced him. Closer still, each footfall feather soft. A floorboard creaked and notes fell harshly off. The pup froze, nerves ajar. The music halted, broken mid motif. Silence swelled. The husky quailed, retreated toward the gloom, but melody resumed, unhurried and honey smooth. Reassured, the pup slunk close, peered in the pools of candlelight, brimming with curiosity. I think my neighbor had a sneezing fit there. I thought it was a fox for a moment. That might be a fox. No, that's a dog. There sat the minstrel, bathed in firelight gold. His fingers danced across the piano keys, conjuring tunes untold. 
The husky watched, no longer meek, spellbound by the mass magic music wove. This kindly soul, keen of eye, hands a flurry with musical might. What wonders might he work? What solace offer? Shelter for the battered pup benighted by the bitter wood. And we have a uh, visitor who's not supposed to be here. It's a little cat and he's not supposed to be here. I love those cats, I love cats, but it's complicated, I can explain some other time. Uh, anyway, sneezing fit, okay. Um, Luke was his name, whispered through the village, murmured in dusty lanes, a melancholy mien often marked his countenance, but music lifted him on wings resplendent. Ethereal strains transported him beyond trauma, transformed him, transmuted talent into truth. Hmm. Hang on. The husky crept, crept closer, trusting in Luke's tuneful grace. Hid no longer, but hunkered by the half-warmed house. The player faltered not, segued gently into new melodies, beckoning the timorous pup to share his humble home. The man and dog together, finding refuge from the world. Safe harbor for two fractured souls beneath the sturdy roof. As seasons cycled, swaddled snug in cozy cabin, songs resounded round the stones where once was silence. Their friendship kindled slowly, sparked by cadenced chords. By tinctures, tail wags, tilting heads and pawing pauses, meaning molded into understanding, patient pathways paved by persistent presence. Compassion, canine and human in communion. The restless world raged on beyond the wooden walls, but within, wonders woke with dawning day. The thriving trees stood sentry, shielded sacred sanctuary where music bloomed from melancholy. Drear days gained luster by their luminosity, their sheer sonorous splendor, voices twined in unity. But shadows stalk all earthly men. Grief goes glooming, chasing chill and sorrow. Luke's constitution faltered, assailed by fell spirits that fettered and festered if left unchecked. His husky harbored him through the blackest nights, shepherded the straining soul through Stygian wastes where only anguished Arius survived. Ooh. I think it's time for a secret cookie. Fuck off. Ugh. On dreary eaves, the drink beckoned, drowning dollar in its tawny depths. Smoke spiraled, clouding mind and judgment, but the husky would not desert his companion in the haze. He stayed the faltering hand and broke the bottle's hold with nuzzles, flung toys and off-key howls, reminding Luke of melodies yet unsung. Their rapport waxed and strengthened nurtured by acceptance. Music bound these mismatched beasts, transcending difference. The dog displayed a nimbleness for notes, mimicking motifs with uncanny intuition. Luke marveled as his husky found harmony, singing counterpoint in conversation suite. From uncommon friends came uncommon songs, primordial, syncopated rhythms from abundant hearts. Their timeless tunes flowed unfettered, 
indigenous as streams and birdsong. Hours fell unfelt, the world forgot in sacred sessions by the fireplace. Instruments alive in able hands. <clears throat> the seasons cycled, solstice came, and with it, change. The careworn cabin, long their haven, grew too small to house the swelling songs. Their robust rapport demanded space to bloom. So Luke and Dog set forth beneath the sun, their caravan wending down the road. Grassy dales and new-met nights, unfurling hopes, ascending scales, horizons opening note by note. The pilgrimage wandered on serendipitous to rivers, pastures, village pubs alive with revelry, revelry, revelry and rhythm. That's quite a fire we have down there, huh? In distant cities, their talent stunned the crowds. Such pure invention, earthy tones resounded new yet ageless. Primal, full of light and life. Each show was sacrament and celebration, jubilant oblations offered up nightly. Luke, long haunted by old horrors, found rebirth behind the footlights, exercised his demons verse by verse, transmuted trauma into hymns of hope. The husky grounded him, shepherding his spirit, channeling Luke's soaring songs toward heaven. Their fame spread, kindled by murmurs through the grapevine, flickering wildfire through the wire. Eyes and ears turned, thirsty for their luminance. But celebrity singed Luke's spirit. His psyche seethed beneath the scrutiny. He shunned the glare, eschewed, eschewed brash crowds who knew not them nor the music's meaning. So the two fled home, ensconced again, and <coughs> God. <coughs> so the two fled home, ensconced again, in isolation. They required no worldly glory, only songs to lift their souls. Within the cabin, they were galvanized, completed, companions wedded by rhythms primal and eternal. Their love lay not in flesh nor form, but flowing between them, rivers of rejoicing, sanctuaries of sound, vistas of harmony glimpsed and held for one transcendent moment. The years flowed on, trod water-like, crossed stone and root. Their ivy-clad retreat remained removed from frenzied world and ticking clocks. They dwelt within their music, wandering free in spirit realms unbound by aging bones. But flesh fails all who wear it. One grey eve, the husky lay in clover, shrouded by the orchard trees. His chest was tranquil, fighting breath no more. The good dog drifted gently into endless dream. But even as the merry light dimmed in his eyes, a howl began, unearthly pure. His last lament sung out unto the hills. One final song. Skies split wide, then peaceful quiet still. Would you just? This is a pivotal moment, and you're gonna fucking ruin it, you beast. Luke wept by the fresh turned soil, throat aching, eyes near boiled, and bloodied by salt and grief. How could soul end when music never died? His hands rent tunes from empty air imploring heavens, but no answers stirred the silent dusk, only echoes of his heartbeat, pounding pendulums numbing him with dread. How could his heart persist when its best half had fled? The cabin stood now cemetery, haunted by the past, 
Each room sung shadow songs of joy departed, never more to come. Luke wandered wraith-like through the empty days. Nothing roused him from his dollar, save the ghostly dreams of music that li lingered yet in Cherry's memory. He could not resist their siren calls. Hands shook, but still sought out the smooth, familiar curves of lyre and drum. He played on, wending melodies from beyond. And sometimes, on the edge of hearing from the orchard trees, a howl would drift upon the breeze, and Luke's heart eased, knowing that dust, the duet danced on. The husky sang on. Through ribbon, Luke persevered, sustained by whispers, spectres in the sound that swirled within his head. He limped and lurched, but lingered, tethered to his art. So long as he could sing their shared song, he had stayed the course. His husky waited in the harmonies. The cabin slumped, but Luke remained, steadfast as the hearth where once they'd sat. He feasted daily on their past, those glory days of music pure. The present held no purchase on his heart, only the echoes, sweet and sanctified. Their love lived on inside the song. And when at last his lungs gave way, no longer could he breathe the husky's memory. Luke went gentle in tonight. He did not die alone. The howl was his illumination, beckoning beyond the veil. They both now passed beyond. Limitless and unconfined, their boundless music soared transcendent. The cabin crumbled, fading back to wild. But on the edge of twilight, if you listen, where the great pines creak and sway, you'll still hear it. The husky song plays on for those whose hearts are tuned to hear. Akin to wind, water and bird song, woven through the flowing stream, the ancient hymn sings on eternities, two spirits joined by seamless song. So that was the husky song, rather sad story. Hope you liked it. I was very fascinated with what you could do with AI. It's a subject of uh, uh, controversy, but what I did was I wrote a three-page outline, or actually detailing the whole story. And then I asked the AI to rewrite it, but first I fed into the AI um, the entirety of A Slow Regard of Silent Things, which is a Patrick Rothfuss book. Um, that's one of his... It's sort of a short story. I fed that into the AI and asked it to analyze it. I know. Uh, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's, a, it's, it's on the... It's borderline illegal. I'm not even sure. Maybe it's, it's, it's immoral. I haven't decided yet. What do you think? Anyway. Out comes the story, and you know it was the same story that I wrote, uh, the same story motifs, if you will, but it was expanded, and you know the the, the, the language is just so interesting. You know, it's it's a little pretentious, uh, it's a little much here and there, but it's uh, it's super interesting. I will say um, the union between the the two characters in the story does go a bit further than than what I outlined in my story. But, you know, I'm not judging. But I appreciate you tuned in today. This almost didn't happen. I'm just going to go ahead and pretend that this isn't a doomed effort. Never, ever, have I <laughs> seen this many mosquitoes. This is not gonna work, is it? Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> ah!
Oh yeah, it's story time now, isn't it? This is um, 